Okay. Hi, I'm Marshall, and I run Oldmill Recording Studios. Uh, this is the live room in the studios. Sorry, it's a bit of a mess. I had a van over the weekend. Um, oh. Okay, before I, before I started the uh, Oldmill Recording Studios, I did two years at Stowe College doing music technology with electronics. Uh, after that, I did two years of a degree at Caledonian uh, and got my honours. Uh, the good thing about running a recording studio is no two days are the same. Uh, we get loads of different kinds of bands to the door, which is the main thing that I record. Uh, I had a band in over the weekend from Glasgow, and that was just bass, drums, guitar and vocals. But I also get uh, loads of business with the grand piano. I've had uh, ladies coming in that used to be concert pianists. We've had bands over from America. We've had Gaelic musicians uh, and everything from Gaelic to karaoke as well. So we've had a lot of people just coming in to sing their songs, songs they like, uh, to a backing track. Okay, this is the control room of the studio. This is where the band, the, the live room that we're in a minute goes upstairs and I record the bands from down here, so everything's fed down here to the equipment downstairs. Uh, the good thing about it is there's not that much of a goldfish bowl effect. The bands can get a bit of privacy upstairs to do what they're doing and uh, I'm downstairs and I can speak to them through the intercom, so I speak to them through the speakers upstairs and then feed everything down here, so you get a bit of privacy. Uh, and I think it's just more conducive to a creative atmosphere. Um, this is the mixing desk, and this is all the equipment that we record through. Uh, uh, all this equipment uh, I used to use, that we learned to use at Stowe College and Glasgow Caledonian. So the likes of the mixing desk, uh, loads of the modules were based around, particularly at Stowe College, were based around how to how the mixing desk works and how every part of it works. So the likes of one channel, if you learn how to, it doesn't. It looks a lot more complicated mm -hmm. than it is. One channel, if you learn how to work one channel, you know what the rest of the mixing desk does and so on. And then there's a master section and so on. The likes of all the other gear falls on from that. Uh, microphones are plugged in and you do different things to the signal. It's different signal processing. So all of this I learned through going to Stowe College and Glasgow Caledonian University. The reason that I like running a recording studio is because I love my job. Uh, you get to meet different people every day and it doesn't feel like work you're getting to create something and people are always coming in happy and enjoying themselves. That's something they want to do and therefore it's something I want to do. Uh, and no two days are the same. And that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs>